Welcome back to another 90 Day Fiance Taste Test. Christmas edition. Christmas edition. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And leave us a comment on what part of the holiday is your favorite. So Alan has to guess a country and cast member from 90 Day Fiance. I bet it's gonna be a ho, ho, ho. Today we have lots of food and lots of beer. Lots of beer. So there are three beers here. One's too dark, one's too heavy, and that one's just right. For his taste. So these are all holiday beers. Is there gonna be mistletoe in one of these? Yeah, give me one. Mm. So which one do you wanna taste first? I wanna go worst to best. It smells like a beer. Does it smell like Christmas? No. It looks like Guinness to me. It's just like a black lager. I didn't know if like, Holiday beers had certain spices. Yeah, it tastes like a candy cane. Try the middle one. Oh, this one smells really good. This is an ale. It's like a golden lager ale something. I don't, I'm not picking up, you know, Christmas ornament flavor. Oh, it smells like a Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> they all smell like beer. Mm, it tastes like wrapping paper. Does it? No. Oh. I got nothing, although I really like this. You liked that beer? Yeah, this one was good. <laughs> oh. Alan. That one, got the last burp. So the first food that we have here is very traditional. It's an appetizer. I made this, I cooked. This is not Halloween, I'm not supposed to be afraid. I think you'll like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's bacon with little hot dogs. Do you know who's gonna love these? The dog. The dog. <laughs> Is that good? Not good. It's all fat. So it's like pork on pork. Pork on pork. And in this country, they dip this in cranberry sauce. Oh, that would've been great. I love cranberry sauce. Do you like this? It's hot dog wrapped in bacon. Who doesn't like that? So this next food is also very traditional and I've never had this. Well, deck the halls am I incited. Oh, that's gravy. That's gravy on biscuits. Is it good? This is a biscuit with gravy on it. This is great. This is like American food. Is it sweet at all? No. It's a flaky biscuit with gravy on it. I also made this too. You made the gravy? No, I did not make the gravy. <laughs> I, I knew it. I made the food. Do you have an, any idea of a country yet? Canada. This is all like American stuff. It's a pastry bread with gravy on it. The other one was hot dogs and bacon. Who is gluttonous? The only gluttonous country in the world. America. So is this American Christmas food? How many Christmases do you think I've ever had? Two. Maybe. So there's two more foods. And they're both kind of desserts. Well, they're both desserts. They're not kind of desserts, they are desserts. Do you have any idea what this food is? Figgy pudding from Cheswick. From Cheswick, or is it Cheswick? What is this? Did you make this? I did not make this. Oh, it's like a muffin with a lot of fiber. Let's look at the pipes going. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this food is typically eaten, people pour brandy on it and then flambe it. And Where's so my brandy? I am not lighting my house on fire. All those raisins, come here, get some raisins. No, um, I'm, Eat it. I'm all set. Eat it. No, thank you. You make me try all those foods. But you like it. You made me eat food from India, the Philippines. You like the Philippines. Even Britain you made me eat food from. Eat it. Nope. From now on, if I don't like something, I'm not eating it. You know I don't like raisins, and I know that you like raisins. I'm more picky than you are. All right, one last pretty ridiculous dessert. All right, open your eyes. What is this, <laughs> poop? This is chocolate-covered tree bark. What the heck? I'm imagining I stab and it just goes <laughs> Other am, am I really just supposed to make like a little sliver sure. here? Sure. Oh my goodness. It's chocolate cake. There's it's, stuff in the inside. There's schmutz on the inside. Yeah. It's a lot of chocolate. It is a lot of chocolate. It's a caramel in the middle. It's caramel? Yeah. Is this Butterfinger on the outside? I'm not exactly sure. It's gigantic. The big reveal. What country do you think it is? I have no clue. You have no clue. It's definitely not some random weird like Uzbekistan. So this is a repeat. That is ridiculous. Oh my God. I was even thinking it's probably Oh, this is, this is Cheswick again. We're doing this again, baby. We're going back north, east, south, and west to Northern Ireland. We're going to England. We're going to Scotland. 
we're going to Wales because this is UK Christmas. Tom. Tom? <laughs> Cheerio, mate! <laughs> Got it again, what the hell? Well, ding, 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 it's obviously Tom. Well, ding, 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 look at that. Oh, I had no <laughs> idea. I pulled that out of my horse, eh? Right? <laughs> Bollocks. So let's start here. We're going in reverse order. This thing, what do you think this is? It's like a tree bark, I don't know. It is called a Yule Log. <gasps> I've heard of that. A couple more of those hot dog bacons, there's gonna be a Yule Log later. Oh, gross. So the muffin with the dates and the raisins and all that that I will not eat, that is called figgy pudding. That's not pudding, it's called figgy muffin. No, that is a figgy pudding. And you even said, this is a figgy pudding. I've been to Heathrow for four hours for a layover. That is my extent of the UK. I didn't know what figgy pudding was, but it's also called Christmas pudding. That's Bob Evans biscuits and gravy. No, that is called Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding. And yes. it's a Pillsbury flaky biscuit with some gravy on it. That's all it is. Yeah, so I and got- you don't like that? It's like, it's fine. It's no Popeye's biscuit. <sighs> Not a lot of things are Popeye's <laughs> biscuits. Hot dogs and bacon, pork on pork on pork. This is called pigs in a blanket. No. Yes. We do pigs in a blanket here. And they do it differently there. And this is what they call it. Have they ever had real pigs in a blanket the way we do it? Because it's kind of like you take the Pillsbury flake, you put the dog, and then you... I'm just sitting here wondering, like, if people in the UK come to America and then they get pigs in a blanket and they're like, What is this bloody stuff here? I ain't got no pigs in a blanket. Probably. But it's, ours is so good. This is good too. Yeah, but how many of those can you eat realistically? They say two per plate. Two per plate. Yes. If this was American pigs in a blanket with the hot dog and the flake around it, I put a little ketchup and uh, mustard on the side, I could eat this whole plate. This is like World War II, America. So we have three beers. The only the only English beer I know is Boddington's. That's not true. And the one from last time. Did you know Bass? Bass is British? Yeah. Bass is good. <gasps> Was this Bass? No. Oh, because I really like Bass Ale. So let's do in, that is English piss water. There is no way that this does any type of sales in England. They are so picky about their beer. It has to be so much alcohol. It has to be so much flavor. That is water. So I'm probably gonna get heat for this, but these two beers at the ends are from Cost Plus World Market. It just kind of seems gimmicky, but it says it's from the UK. This one is called Bad Elf. I thought it was a fun bottle. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Bad Elf 4.5 Winter's Ale. Wow, look at the Gringotts schnoz on that guy. From Harry Potter, also English. Oh, swish and flick. So the dark beer is also from Cost Plus World Market. What is Cost Plus World Market? Where do you shop? It's a chain store. They're all over. So the dark one is called Santa's Butt. Oh my God, Winter Porter, very nice. Yeah. 6% alcohol, I told you I liked it better than that one. And Santa sat on his great butt enjoying a hearty brew. If I was Hugh Grant and we'd be doing this, we'd be like, <laughs> All right, Santa's butt and a bad elf. So the one that you like. The one that I like. You might know this company because when I go to Total Wines, it seems like a big company. They have a winter holiday beer. Samuel Smith's. Yeah. Samuel's, yeah. <gasps> they make a great beer. It's called an oatmeal stout, which oh, I'm yeah. not really a part of. Sam Smith oatmeal stout, one of the best. I saw that, but yeah. this came out for the holiday. Twenty. Oh, this is the first time I've seen 2021 on anything. Wow. So that's specifically for 6%, this beer. Six percent, and it's an ale, like you said. Well, that's it for Alan's sleigh ride of the UK. I slayed the UK holiday edition. I tell you, this is the second time I've been to the UK and it's the second time that I've liked the food and will definitely go back even though I murdered the pronunciation of probably everything here. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, listen to our podcast, Love Is Out There, and our Instagram, Love Is Out There podcast. This food is great. I can't wait to have it for real in 2021 or maybe 2022. Happy holidays to everybody out there. Happy Christmas is what they say. Happy New Year, 2021. I found love. I found love. We found we love. We found love. We out. <laughs>